Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Shogunners. Uh, this is, well, I think this is the sort of main and final battle arena uh, for the industrial level. So let's have a look. Having found a new ally in Zoe, Scarlet and Tybalt are approaching the final arena of the night. Will the threesome help each other survive, or will they go down in flames together? Well, we're going to select Zoe for this one. What did he mean by go down in flames? It sounds like a fiery one. Looks like we're getting a new enemy type in this one, maybe a boss, potentially. Um, I think we're as prepared as we can be, so let's go straight in. I think we got into quite a good rhythm in the last episode of, you know, sort of setting Scarlet up for her melee takedowns. This abandoned factory is home um, to some vintage industrial equipment. So maybe we'll try and keep doing a bit of that. Ryan Ford is offering a bonus to the challengers if they can keep two of those classic generators in salvageable condition. Hmm. Well, that sounds nice. It depends how aggressively they're going to target them. Um... It's quite spread out, this one. Where's Zoe? Scarlet. Where's Zoe at? Oh, she's central. Okay, so we can't get through that way. I just feel like we should concentrate on a, on a path. Let's bring Tybalt in. And let's get an early body swap going on... Maybe this guy? I wish there was a way of seeing uh, which order they're going to go in on their turn. Because I've noticed when I do a body swap, quite often the guy who's swapped will act first and sort of run into cover. And then the guy I was hoping would, you know, get a clear shot on, like this situation. Um, they end up missing. But well, let's let's try this and see what happens. I mean, it's still good because they won't target Tibble because he looks like one of them. There's no obvious time limit, so there's no need to sort of rush with this one, I don't think. Oh, Zoe is so. I think. Well, I think actually she's blocked by Tibble, isn't she? I was hoping to maybe bring her around here, uh, but I think I'll bring her into cover. And I think maybe we'll wind up. A moment to wind up her weapon. Scarlet. Question is, do I run her over this side, or do I try and sort of solo this side with Scarlet? I mean, 69 it isn't a bad shot chance, is it? I mean, if she hits, if she lands both these, it could be a kill. No avoiding that one. Hello. Well, there we go. <laughs> He's out of here. The Ronin is not playing around. Why didn't he shoot? The AI confuses me sometimes. Oh! That's gonna hurt the value on that collector's item. Interestingly, it didn't blow. Yeah, it's kind of what I, I feared in that they're going for the generator quite aggressively. With the reward for the challengers. It is quite high health, so I thought it was maybe one shot kill. But actually, it seems to be alright. I think maybe we get up in this guy's face. And maybe the Ronin can be tempted to come target us as well. Could in theory maybe kill both of these. But it's definitely not hitting. 
Tybalt, is it? <laughs> Maybe Tybalt comes and finishes this and ends up in cover. One scum. Yeah, they're going for it pretty aggressively. Scarlet's here. I mean, I think we just pull her in here and get a melee kill while in full cover. So she's got an action back. I, th I think maybe we just reload. I think Overwatch is. So if there's going to be another wave, where do we think they might come in from? I mean, probably here, right? So, mm. is not great. <laughs> I think we use the med kit. Oh. I think we shoot this guy. Zoe. I don't know about. I feel like she needs to be back over. Yeah, maybe we. I think we can rush her here, and I don't think she, they'd be able to target her. So let's do that, and she can help out next go. Scarlet. She doesn't even need to assault from there. What could she do? None of her chances are great. Maybe Overwatch? If we're going to save this thing, we need to kind of engage people higher up this map up here. Some incoming fire while in motion. Laying in wait. No dice on that shot. Yeah, what can we do productively with Zoe? Yeah, it's not great, but if it hits... I'm actually going to shoot this guy. It's still pretty much a 50-50, but again, if we hit, uh, pretty much means Scarlet can finish both of them. There we go. Good shot, Zoe. Uh, is this? Oh yeah, <laughs> all that stuff didn't look like it was working. 
But yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to melee these one at a time. Get a free shot off. Oh, that's a grievous wound. And maybe we'll assault from here. That's where we got like one HP left, three HP left. Okay, well Tybalt can probably deal with that. Seventy-five. Oh damn! I got. <laughs> I always forget about the Overwatch. He's actually immobilized, so it's not the end of the world if this misses, but I think we've got it. So what's gonna happen now? Oh, who's this? And the challengers might want to start praying now, because here comes a bishop! These fanatical snipers may not be heaven sent, but they are hell bent on sending challengers to meet their maker. God sees all, and so does this asshole. Inspires others to kill in the name of the Lord. Archic ass in the name of the Lord. Was that two ogres? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's fair to say I wasn't quite expecting that. Oh man, this guy. At least Tibble and... well, does it help that we've pushed up here? I'm not sure it does. Okay, let's have a little look at this guy. Shoots a long-ranged rifle, can perform several attacks in a single overwatch, can boost his allies' damage. Dear. High base damage, I mean... Yeah, that's almost a one-hit kill on Tibble. Hmm. I got a frag. I've got a Mark II frag. I could. I could chuck that straight in there. What can Tibble do in terms of targeting this guy? Seventy-five. Is that cover? It's not cover, is it? I don't think it's cover. So we might as well. Might as well just come here. Alright, let's go with Tybalt first. See what he can do. I felt that hit. from here. Oh, it's Scarlet. I mean if she can hit him. That's a kill, right? So I guess we try this. Yep. No more bye bye. For that bishop. Head of the class. Okay, well Zoe can sort of stride forward here. But she's actually got eighty five percent from here. I think we wind up and shoot. Let's do that. He's getting ready for round Kind of worst two. case though, it's pushed him in to regenerate. He's only down to 29. Oh wow, I think he dashed. So he's already back up to 49. So Tibble, I think you sabotage the ogre. Have two turns without a weapon. Sabotage from Tybalt. And maybe just come over here ready to help out? Or should we just reload? Maybe I'll reload. Zoe. We could do that again. Wind up. Spooling up her weapon. Uh right, 85% again. This would be good if it hits. Yeah. 
Well, in that case, Scarlet can come and uh, melee. And if we do that from here, I'll get it to reload as well. Ready to shoot some more. All right, hopefully this guy can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, so let's bring... Let's bring Scarlet round. We'll get a shot on him. He couldn't dodge that one. Zoe? Uh, can't actually see him, so if she just sort of come, moves forward... Shot on. Catastrophic. Finish him, finish him. Yeah, we're not going to do the melee. He hasn't got quite enough to make it certain, so let's start with the, start with the guns. Pretty good. I hope that's it for the level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's always a little twist, but you know, that was it. The extra mile to save Ooh, the 10 grand. And managed to win despite the additional challenge. Nano probes for Zoe there. I like that the non-active members level up at the same time because it means that no one kind of gets left behind. In some games, if only the active members gain XP, then you know the ones you don't use, they just kind of just fall by the wayside more and more. And that's it for yet another explosive episode of Homicidal All Stars. How strong are the bonds forged in the fires of the industrial zone? We'll find out in tomorrow night's episode, set in the disaster area, where another new defender is preparing a warm welcome for the contestants. For Homicidal All-Stars, Ooh, who's that? I'm it's Joel like, Sir. um, Good sort of an night, answer to everyone. Zoe, doesn't it? Like a big chain gunner. We're going to do the leveling stuff first. So we've got 10 now on Scarlet, and that means we can get um, light footed. We've been saving for this. So she doesn't trigger Overwatch now, so that's going to be massive. Even though we keep triggering it anyway. <laughs> it should be massive. Uh, Dibble's only got four, so oh, you could take another utility item. I'd kind of like to save up for an extra movement point, though. So we'll leave that a sec longer. Um, Warden, we could go down the melee route. I don't know about the stamp. Or more movement. Okay, it's only one more point. We'll save for more movement. And as for Zoe... Intimidate, I'm not that sure on, but I think I would like for her to be quicker. So we're going to gain movement range for Zoe too. So Zoe now has six movement. Warden six. Tibble and Scarlet both seven. I mean, that feels... Yeah, that feels doable. With Zoe, we probably will take that Intimidate next so we can move into the melee stuff, I guess. Or maybe is an extra year item better? I don't know. I mean, I love her gun. I mean, because it's got the infinite ammo, you know, you're always using that. What does she do melee damage? 9 to 11. So she could add... Like another 8? So she'd be doing, you know, 17 to 19. I mean, that's all right. But her gun is doing 20 to 25, so why wouldn't you just use that? So yeah, so I think maybe another item here. But she has an implant now. Plus 10 health points. Nice. Although he's a bit of a tank. Not quite as much as Warden, but, you know, good enough. Yeah, yeah, pretty pleased with this crew. Have I got any uh, consumables to replace? Doesn't look like it. Now we need to look at the fame stuff. Because we could get this plus 5% chance to hit. I feel like that's just a minor benefit, though. As is this, kind of. Let's say you're doing 18 melee damage, which is pretty high for our group. You're adding less than 2 to that? So, I don't know. This apparently is really, really nice. So we want to... We, nice. So we want to... We need to double our level of nice. And then at the top range... Some people on the forums are saying this ability cooldown for Scarlet is really, really nice, but... This just feels really good, doesn't it? We need more asshole points for that. Whereas we're kind of already on the path to this. 
but nice. We need to be as nice as possible <laughs> for a little while now. Well, we can do a little bit in the diary room, can't we? Nicole from production here. This message is intended for Scarlet, Tybalt, and Zoe. The audience seems to enjoy your team up, so we're going to keep letting you work as a group for now. But to keep things balanced, we're establishing a maximum of allied contenders allowed in certain areas. That's two contestants in non-combat areas and ambushes, three in combat arenas. Yeah, which is what Other we've been doing. Other contestants in your group will remain in the resting area and can be summoned before entering combat. Please note that the Warden counts as a contestant for the purposes of this rule. Good luck. Balance. Sure. Whatever you say, Nicole. I mean, we're very happy with uh, Zoe. Warden's good, but I really like Zoe. Let's see what we could get. So we've got the Reaper MX uh, for Scarlet. We could get two... Hmm. Actually, no, we can't. We could get one of these guns. Um, but this is a quite a significant damage boost for Scarlet. And no... It's not worth in it. It's not worse in any respect than the one we're using now. This one, less ammo, halving the range, but a lot more damage. So, mm. warden. We're not really using warden so much at the moment. But Zoe, again, just a nice damage increase for Zoe. She's already doing a lot, and with the wind up as well. You know, she can, as we saw in that last level, she can almost one shot enemies. But this, yeah. Tibble, I feel, is more of a support class, like with his body swap and decoy and sabotage and stuff. And we're all, we're happy with all of that. So I think I think for now I'll I'll get this, and then we'll save up a bit more and get that for Zoe. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that for now. Utilities wise, proximity grenade activates. One turn after being set, once activated, deals massive damage in an area of effect when triggered by an enemy entering its range. 50 damage. Huh. Oh, we've got a frag mark 3. Does 40 damage. Oof. I like that, because it's going to be one-shotting the scum. This is so expensive, though. Let's reanimate her. I mean, it... Characters who receive lethal damage will survive and regain one third of their HP. Works one time per combat encounter. We're not doing so bad on that front at the moment. I like the sound of this. But I don't know. I, I kind of want to save up for that gun, so we'll, we'll keep doing that. Alright, let's have a little pot around here. Let's see if there's anything to interact with. I actually feel like the hospital mission was uh, was harder in that map than the <laughs> than the final battle arena. Not that it was easy, but you know. Nothing over there. There here. you are. Go on then. Sit. You know what? I've had it with Ford's tricks and twists and all that bullshit. I know this is an entertainment show, but come on, at least make it fair. You know I'm doing well, so just keep throwing up new roadblocks. What are you gonna do next? Drop fucking anthrax on the arena? Asshole! Bet that confessional didn't make it on air. The audience doesn't care about fairness, and neither does Ford. Mm hmm, is there another one? Like I said, I am here for the money. And yeah, it would be great to get it all for myself. But Richter, Fly, and Phantom are good people. We've kept each other safe so far. So, if you're asking me if I'd rather stab them in the back than share the winnings, then the answer is no. That clear enough for you? Looks like we're not the only ones who've teamed up out there. We rarely see the kind of teamwork your group has been displaying on the show. Do you think this approach will pay off? Nice response. We're natural allies. It's the defenders who are the enemy, and they use teamwork, right? 
I don't see any reason we challengers can't do the same. And are you ready to share the winnings with other challengers, if you all make it to the end? Well, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Good stuff tonight. Thank you, Scarlet. They moved on our floor, but did they move any of the crew from Seven here? Of course not. Well, no. That would make sense. And yeah, no one cares. We got more cleaning to do now. Hey, more cleaning means more hours, right? <sighs> yeah, you got a point, I suppose. Okay, so presumably Zoe's here. Oh, what's this? Quite a ways down. Is there a force field down there? Can't imagine there's never been a contestant who tried to self-eliminate. Ah, oh, look at me, using their euphemisms. It's called suicide, Maria. Dark. Okay, so I was just saying, yes, yeah, so presumably Zoe's in our um, level now. Come on, ask her. Shh, she'll hear you. Something you need? Oh, um, I was wondering if I could take a pic with you? I... sure. I told you she'd say yes. Shut up! Give me nice points. I wonder how many defenders are still lined up. We've seen so many already. Ah, plenty of death row prisoners in the country to last them, I guess. An endless supply. I hear that Omega bought up a new lot for this season. They call it the Disaster Zone, apparently. The site of some big ass electrochemical disaster. Been off limits until recently, but someone must have pulled some strings. Sounds like a perfect place to get electrocuted. Wonder if I can bribe Nicole to get me some rubber boots. Great. Like being shot at isn't enough. Now we're gonna get fried. Hey, well, got that to look forward to. Ugh, I hate synth coffee. It tastes like gasoline. Does its job though. Not that I need any help staying awake. So where's Zoe's room? So, you gonna tell the big woman everything? I wasn't planning to. Oh, she's well, over there. Well, she might be less gracious than me when she eventually finds out about your ulterior motives. Then let's make sure she doesn't. And if she makes it to the end with us? We'll worry about it then. Uh-huh. Well, better hope she never wanders by your quarters while you're screaming in your sleep. Okay. Gotta admit, I'm starting to wonder if I might have had a better chance of survival on the inside. Probably should have spent more time studying up on this show before committing to it as my salvation. Oh uh, well. What's done is done. And... At least I've got one person in this madhouse I can trust. That means a lot. Likewise, Tybalt. Yeah, we like Tybalt. We like Zoe too. Let's go and talk to her. Didn't see, just didn't see her over there. Well, Tybalt's over by the pool table. I might go and uh, speak to him again after I've spoken to Zoe. So, you planning to stick with that Walmart rifle of yours through this whole thing? I didn't even notice the brand. Kinda what I figured. If you switch to our Lucky Punk M69, I can make it worth your while. What? As long as you mention the name at least once per episode. You know, product placement. Uh, but... I mean, sure, they jam a bit more than they probably should. <laughs> We're working on that. I think I'll stick with this one. For now, anyway. Your call. Let me know if you change your mind. Walter, I saw our old ads at the arena today. Why aren't the new ones up yet? The ads showing me using our gear on the show need to be everywhere. This is literally why I'm here, remember? Oh, and tell the graphics guy to remove the other contestants from the shots. Like, you know, I don't need any backup if I'm in lucky punk gear. No, not that exact line. Have the copywriters sexy it up. Going for the old soft sell, huh, Zoe? So in the demo, Zoe, well, and Tybalt, they weren't they weren't voiced. You know, they didn't have any cutscenes while it was in the the action. Um, so I had no idea what Zoe was like as a character. She is very different to what I imagined, though. Hey, hacker dude, think you could hack me? You mean your exoskeleton? Uh, 
yeah, I guess so. That would be so messed up. You could make me do anything you want, right? Like, I don't know, dance ballet or something? Ballet? Why? Is that something you'd like to do? What? No, of course, no. I mean, do I look like a ballerina to you? <laughs> do I look like someone who always wanted to try ever since she was a little girl and never got the chance? Aww. But, uh... I, uh... I think I'll head to the gym, get some reps in. Yeah, she is. A, she is a very different character. I mean, I, you know, thought she was going to be, you know, your Mad Max kind of psycho type character, but she's she's not that at all. It's uh, it's quite it's quite it's quite good. Right, we're gonna we're gonna have a little nap. No dreams this time. Still plenty of um, time in this episode. We've only really just done half an hour's worth, so I think we head on out and do a little bit Disaster more. Disaster area. Sounds like another fun place to hang out. Kill or be killed. Welcome back to Homicidal All-Stars. I'm Joe Stern, and tonight it's the penultimate challenge area for season 78. As the numbers of the surviving challengers dwindle, we'll follow their perilous path through the disaster zone. The site of an electrochemical catastrophe a few years back, this area remains as unsafe as it was on the day the accident happened. Oh, goody. How many of our remaining challengers, if any, will survive its many dangers. They don't even care if anyone makes it to the finale, huh? Hey, if it happened every season, it wouldn't be special, now would it? Yeah, we've got any fans in this opening area. They tend to have, like, sort of yellow paint around this sort of window in the fencing. But we want to make sure we get them all. How many do we have in this area? Only four. No optional arenas, apparently. Which is interesting. The challengers are almost sure to get a charge out of this area if they're not careful. Scarlet makes it through the electrified gauntlet. Right, well that doesn't look safe. What's going on here? That turns something off. For a while at least. And the power is finally turned off for good. Um, was there a point to that? Kind of presume there might be a crate or something here, but there's nothing. Oh, this thing. Here we go. Beast and proximity grenade. Okay, we'll have a look at beast. Even though we've just bought a new gum. Uh, bionic weave. Can't remember who wears that. Um, less ammo, less base damage. I think we'll stick with the one we bought. We might equip the proximity grenade on someone, though. Hmm. Been a while since I played hopscotch. <laughs> Um, so what, how do I know what we start with? Would it be yellow to green, or green to blue? Scarlet steps on a safe tile. Yellow to green. Looks like she's cracked the code. To blue. That was almost fun. Uh, it looks like an ambush up here. I think I can see an ogre in it. And this is actually the way we're meant to go, though. So I, I just want to see if there's a fan, if there's a fan or anyone here. It looks like there might be. Yeah. Wow, you actually stopped. I wasn't prepared for that. So, what do you want autograph? Let's see. Do I have any? Oh, I have a tissue. Scarlet XOXO. Ugh. I should have brought a cardboard sign. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But well that was worth coming back for. Let's 
So, I mean, I guess we do the ambush, right? I don't know quite what that is. Oh no, we walked into an ambush. So we've got two scum and an ogre. Okay. That's actually full cover, so... Okay, let's come over. Let's get one freebie off. Oh, did anybody get the number of that train? I think we body swap. Um, he does. He's not really a frontline guy, is he? Uh, let's bring you back to here. Shoot him. Bad How did he miss? On that one. Setting up on defense. They seem to miss so much when I do that. He's not guaranteed on Scarlet, unfortunately. Um, but we know this doesn't use any actions, so let's do that. <laughs> She's taking every precaution. And we'll come here and we'll just shoot the guy, because that's a kill. Well, I mean, we just shoot him, really, I think. Ooh. 100%. Guaranteed kill. Prox grenade, very nice. Uh, level up for Scarlet, very nice as well. I think it's going to be a few levels though before we can afford her next thing, so I think I'll just leave. Well, we can check. There might be something I missed. Well, I mean, we could add more melee damage. That does seem like a good way of sort of traversing the map. But just being able to do more melee damage, I think, because that's kind of the build we're going for. I, I think that's good. I think we'll do that. Right, so there's a crate here. Got some titanium coating for Warden. But uh, I think we continue on. That's probably going to loop back at some point. Looks like the arena is behind a sophisticated, if malfunctioning, security system. Switching up the electricity pattern. I don't think there's any reason to go in there, is there? Changing the power flow. Or is there? A good spot to hide from that prying eye. I don't know what... I don't really know what it wants from me. Can't switch to Tibble.
We want to remove this one, but... How do you do that? Oh, speculation here. And she cuts the power! The Maybe. path to the arena is clear! The Butcher Shop Bloodbath Arena, eh? Okay, let's just have a quick look over here. It's like another fan, I've maybe? Any advice for those of us who want to try out for the show? Yeah, don't. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> We're still going for the nice points. So training, training, and some more training, Scarlet. Well, I'm doing it. You'll see next season. Got a crate. Predator. <laughs> okay, but I think we go, we'll check the shop. We might have enough now for the gun for Zoe. And we do. So we were looking at this one. So yeah, just upping Zoe's damage. That is nice too, but look, Zoe's just going to be shooting, shooting, shooting. So let's do that. Okay, let's go in. Our challengers are now approaching what was once a high-end butcher shop, but will they slaughter or be slaughtered? Got scum, fumes, drone monk, uh, the bishop guy, and a big question mark. Okay, let's go in. So I don't know who the unknown one is. Might I don't we're probably not a boss, but I guess we'll see. Dead meat is dead meat. It's been a long time since the staff and customers got buried under the debris, but that doesn't mean this place is any less bloody nowadays. There's an exploding drum. Uh, which will do 40 damage right next to this drone monk. And there's another one next to this uh, fume. There's a scum right here. I think Zoe could wind up and shoot this guy, and that would be a kill. So I think actually we do that. Zoe is thinking ahead. Now we want Tybalt to be able to shoot that drum over there, which he can do from here. The reason I wanted Tybalt was because he had to shoot through the mist. Now Scarlet, we could... I guess she does an assault to here. Like so. Still got this drone monk, so he's going to throw down a drone, obviously. Okay, well, for what it's worth, I think we get Tybalt to hack. Oh, we can't see, can't see it. Okay. Is that because he needs to be here, maybe, or maybe more like here? Drain. Tibble commandeers the enemy bot. Maybe Zoe shoots it. She's not going to get through forty hit points, but it just kind of positions it. That hit was savage. It's still hacked. Kind of means we've got a better chance of taking it down next go. 75 on the monk. Okay, let's do it.
Okay, a bit of a waste to go on that, I suppose, but... like a delivery of fresh meat. Who's there? Oh yes, yeah, that um big gunner we saw. Oh, starter. I see. His devastating flamethrower makes it very clear. This guy prefers his enemies. Well done. He starts fire even when he dies. <laughs> Seventy health, eh? Okay, well, I don't know what his movement's like, but I think we'll be all right here. We'll do a freebie. Bam! That's a hit. What sort of armor is he wearing? It's uh, metal armor. Okay. Which no, um, I mean we could put unhittable. I don't know if it'll work on fire, but let's just leave that for now. Put some of that on. Tibble here can't shoot that far. Another drone monk though. Maybe he comes here and does a body swap on the drone monk. Oh damn, he can't see it. What about the sabotage, it's not going to hit anyone else. This would kill the drone monk though. Let's leave Tibble there just for this time being. So we can't actually see that behind that meat. Maybe she moves up and we'll put an overwatch on. See, Tibble can see him, but he can't body swap him. I don't want to leave him hanging like that. Moving back into cover. Okay, I was going to say full cover means nothing, but it worked this time. He can't be happy with that shot. Now, what can this guy do? Probably wishes he had that one back. Now I everyone in range, unless killed by a melee attack, interestingly. If anyone could get a shot on him, Scarlet could finish him off. Hundred percent? Maybe from here? Okay, let's focus on this first. He's feeling that. Right, so we'll reload. And we're going to melee him. Uh, going to melee. Yeah, there we go. Melee him. Okay. I'm going to do it here. So where are they coming in from then? Oh. Now let's put Scarlet on Overwatch then. <laughs> Let's 
so we could do could get a kill it's a tricky one she could do a fan attack but come here and do a Zoe starts preparing a nasty surprise. Overwatch, I didn't. Oh, okay, yeah. It's gonna be if anyone if she hits anyone in Overwatch, it's gonna be an instant kill. Ah, uh, thirty-nine. She's supposed to be seventy-five minimum. That did some and she got damage. hit. That'll reduce any incoming damage. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was two turns on this. I think well, we, I think we put it here anyway, and I think we Overwatch. Tybalt. Oh, I really want that monk dead. I can't believe she can't see that thing. <laughs> that bit of meat is, is really in the way. I think I'll run her in here for next go. I think Tybalt could maybe shoot that drone. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? It. Just Overwatch. Actually, no. Uh, let's just pop a decoy out. Let's pop it. Let's pop it there. Two tibbles is one tibble too many. <laughs> and try saying that five times fast. Oh, great. She used her Overwatch on that. Caught him with his guard down. Come on, he's hiding behind the explosive barrel. We've got to be able to do something with this. Oh wow, big guns coming in. Okay, well we'll worry about that in a sec because with Zoe we're going to... Finally we're going to shoot this. <laughs> Get rid of that guy. Scarlet, we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Tell you what, though, if Tybalt could maybe come in and shoot this guy, doesn't he? We'll just take cover here and do it. Devastating. We're going to bring Scarlet in to do this. Can't hit anyone, so let's so we'll put an overwatch on. Clean miss on the moving targets. <laughs> I think we run Zoe in again, although. Mm. 
just the lack of cover, isn't it, with that sniper there. Let's just bring her in. We don't need to rush. We've got four turns. I'm hoping this is the last wave. Bring Scarlet here and shoot on the big guy. Um, let's get a freebie on it. Oh, solid hit. Good body swap with him. Maybe the maybe the sniper shoots him. And let's put some sabotage on so he can't come in and flame us. Oh, he's got two left. Finally, that paid off. Okay. I think we rushed over here. I don't think he can hit her from there. And she can tank a hit from him anyway. Scarlet will reload. Slamming another clip home. I'm gonna put unhittable on. She's not taking any chances there. Yeah, melee this guy. Fire starter, meet firefighter. And I guess we'll see if we can get a shot on this guy. What have we got? 61%. Worth a try. Failed. It's okay. We got stuff happening. We got stuff happening. I don't think we need to get to rush Tibble in, honestly. Because he, he could get one shotted. Maybe we'll use the med kit. Ugh. Patching up his wounds. And we'll reload. Right then. He hasn't got Overwatch or anything, but we're not activating that now anyway. So let's um, let's just punch this guy's lights out. The bishop is no more. There we go. Not so bad. And that's it. The challengers make it look easy this time around. Stalker. Three level ups. And with the butcher shop cleaned up, the challengers are now free to explore the rest of the disaster zone. Yeah, we don't need to heal. Um, I think we'll probably end it more or less here, but let's quickly go in and look at some of those uh, levels, leveling stuff. Tibble's got eight now, that's not bad. He could, uh, well, I think we're going to give him the extra range, won't we? So he's actually the quickest one of us now. Warden, we're going to do the same. And Zoe. Yeah, I think, well, that intimidate. I don't really necessarily see a point to it. The only thing I could see a point for is if you've got people in Overwatch, and by pushing someone, you can kind of force someone to take a shot at them, maybe. But we want to kind of build into these. I mean, I've kind of got all the abilities on her, I think, are important anyway, so that's fine. Let's have a look at the gun she found. Mm, no. Big big damage decrease just for the cost of Overwatch accuracy. So no, we'll keep the one that we've got now. And we'll say we'll leave it there. So thanks very much for watching this episode of Showrunners. Sorry, Showgunners. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this game and this playthrough and... Uh, and all the various enemy types and someone that we've been finding and uh, yeah if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel it'd be great if you would do so it'd be great to have you around so thanks very much once again and i hope to see you next time for more show gunners bye for now <laughs>